Hello everybody, I want to show you with this video how you can enable a second space, so a private space at the Samsung Galaxy A23 5G. So that means that you can have two spaces on one phone, one for your private stuff maybe, and one for your business stuff, or one for your private stuff, and one for your very private stuff. Okay, let me show you what I mean. So just scroll down here, go to the symbol for the settings, then you need to scroll down to the point, biometrics and security, and if you scroll down a bit here again, you will see the point secure folder. Just tap on it, go and continue. And now you with the phone will ask you for a Samsung account. So just log in with a Samsung account. If you don't want, as well, if you don't have one, you need one for that, uh, then you just uh, create one or you can also use your Google account for. Okay, just go on continue. And then the phone is creating that secure folder. No, it will give you also here some information about um, yeah, this procedure takes a few seconds. So this is the reason why I'm forwarding right now. Okay, the next view we have, we have now is to put a password or pin or pattern no, to make um, yeah, the folder secure. So uh, I would choose uh, the pin. So uh, in my case, I will take four times the nine. So take yours. Uh, you can uh, uh, activate the checkbox if you want to confirm the pin without tapping OK always. No? Just go on next and confirm the pin again. Um, that everything is fine. So in my case, four times the nine. No? Take yours, as I said. Go on done. And then we have the next steps. Uh, now we can do also some stuff if we want to reset some here. Just uh, I will skip that. And you can add also a fingerprint. No? I will skip that also. But I would recommend this to you. Okay, so now we are in the secure folder. So the secure folder is a completely independent space from your first space you know already. Uh, so we have here our own gallery. So all the pictures are visible here in that gallery are only visible here at the secure folder. The same with your contacts, uh, the same with the calendar. Uh, so all the entries here in that calendar will be only visible at a secure folder. Same with the contacts. Now. All the camera pictures you're doing here from the secure folder will stay at the gallery. So also the browsing history here at the Internet Explorer uh, or the Samsung Internet Explorer here uh, will also stay only at a secure folder. The same with the other apps. Um, and the proper apps, you can add also some apps. If you go on the plus symbol here, then you can sum add some apps of your existing apps already on the phone. So the phone will clone it then and then you have an only independent app. Maybe if you go on WhatsApp uh, or on TikTok, no? just add them and you will have an extra app. So with own content, add a secure folder. So then you can create maybe a second WhatsApp account here maybe, yeah? um, or a second TikTok account in that case. And if you want to have some new apps here, which one are not on your phone actually, just go as well, you're on the plus symbol, go on download from Play Store and sign in with the Google account. It don't have to be the same one uh, from your main space. It could be also another one here, now the second space. And then just download the app and this app will be only visible here at this secure folder at this second space. But the notifications will appear also here from the second space at the main space. So if you don't want that someone sees really that you have that app, you should disable also the notifications or make it invisible um, for that app. For that, just go on, th on the three points, go on the settings, and then you will have here the point apps. Um, so choose the app you don't want to have some notifications from, um, yeah, maybe here. Let's take maybe TikTok also if you have cloned it. Huh? Just go on TikTok, go on notifications, and you can um, disable them. Huh? Or you can also deliver quietly huh? as you want. Yeah, very important to know. If not, someone sees that you have that app on your phone. <laughs> okay. Uh, some other stuff you should know uh, is if you have already content on your phone you feel uncomfortable with or if you want to use it as business uh, space here then you can transfer them also here in the secure folder just go on the uh, three points here go on add files and you can 
now go maybe on images, videos, audios, documents, and so on to transfer some stuff. Maybe let's go on images. And if you say, okay, this guy, if you're uncomfortable with it, uh, select them, go on done. And this guy will now, if I go on move, so pardon, not go on copy, go on move. This guy will disappear then from your main gallery. Okay. Let me go back. Huh? So this guy is no more here in my main gallery right now. Okay. If I go now on the secure folder, you will see that there's no password. Huh? But there is one. But uh, I only can enable this one um, if I uh, turn off the screen uh, so that I'm standby mode and if I'm going back. So now I know my password. Keep it for you. And if I enter now, the secure folder here. I have to enter my password now from the secure folder. Huh? I've created four times the nine. Huh? So then I will have uh, now again here my secure folder. If you say, okay, you feel not so comfortable if uh, during a session your secure folder is open all the time, you can change that huh? by auto lock. Just tap on the three points, go on lock and exit always if you want to go out. Huh? Or if you want to make the auto lock, just go on your settings and go on auto lock secure folder now you can set up a time when uh, the secure folder should be um, um, if you want to lock out from a secure folder i'm sorry and uh, if you say okay you want it more secure then tap the first one here to each time if you're leaving an app anyhow it's the secure folder itself or if it's an app which one is in the secure folder then the um, uh, phone will lock out from the secure folder here. Obviously, okay, you don't want really to have a password because you use it as business and you know, um, then you can choose the last point here, when the phone restarts. So then you just need it if you turn off the phone and turn it on again. Only then you would use the password if you choose the last point here. Yeah, um, I think that's it. Um, you can try it out a bit. No? Uh, the second space here um, and uh, also if you use the phone with your partner and so on and you don't want the partner uh, to store your data or something that it's all the time so you can use also the second space here now there are many opportunities uh, for that anyhow if you want to use it for business for hiding some stuff or uh, for your friend and so on uh, you can use this space or for the children maybe mm -hmm. anyhow Okay, yeah, I hope I could help you with this video and uh, show you something new here. And uh, yeah, maybe if you want, you can leave me some nice uh, comments or some thumbs up. That would be very helpful for my videos. Uh, thank you so, so much uh, for your support. And yeah, I've created also some other videos uh, with some more tips and tricks and so on. If you want, you can even subscribe me if you don't have it done before. Thank you so, so much for all your support. And um, yeah, maybe until next time. Mm -hmm. Ciao.